Raise your hand <laughs> if the first thing you did when you decided to wear your hair curly was look up all the products, what's gonna make my hair curlier, what's gonna do this, what's gonna do that, run to the store, max out your credit card, only to come home with way too much product, not really knowing what you're doing or why you'd be doing anything with any of it, in hopes that you are miraculously going to wake up with your ideal head of hair. Anyone? Anyone? Then maybe eventually we figure out how to use these products and then maybe we get some really cool results. But then what happens is one day we run out of our favorite product or maybe our hair stops responding to it the same way or maybe, God forbid, we go on a vacation or go swimming and we have to get out of the water with our natural hair. No stylers to hide behind, no curl definers to give that extra boost of definition. It all then becomes what it actually is. And so many people struggle dealing with that reality. So many, Sheldon. In my opinion, one of the biggest mistakes that wavy, curly, coilies, kinkies alike make in their hair journey is bypassing the process of learning to love your hair as it is naturally. I wasn't really planning on Sheldon being a prop for this video, but it's working and he doesn't mind. <laughs> We don't wear our hair naturally for the longest time. I'm sure so many of y'all have a variety of reasons. Maybe you didn't feel like it fit, fit into beauty standards. Maybe someone told you that your natural texture was ugly or frizzy. Maybe you didn't feel confident in styling it or giving it what it needs. There's a multitude of reasons why we do this. But so often when we decide to start this process, we skip right over <laughs> that very important fact, which is learning to embrace and love our our natural texture and we go straight for spending all of our coins on all of the products all of the things that create an aesthetic but don't really change reality being in the looser curl type community I notice it the most here the number one thing that is said and asked by people with looser curl types is how do I make my hair curlier you don't <laughs> Whatever your hair is naturally, you cannot alter your genetics. If your hair has lost curl due to damage, to chemical damage, to straightening, that's one thing. You can help your hair become healthier, which ultimately starts from the inside out, but you cannot make your hair curlier. You cannot change your natural curl type. So many of us, when starting in this curly hair journey, we are bypassing self-acceptance altogether and going straight back into some more beauty standards. And it's literally defeating the purpose. Healthy hair considered, most of us don't need to change a thing about our hair, but the thing that needs to be changed is our perception of our hair and ourselves because it's a package deal. See, I can feel that. <laughs> that was unnecessary. I think y'all got the point, but it just felt like it gave it a little bit more. <clears throat> I wanna be clear, y'all. There's no product shaming here. Not, not one. <laughs> I love a good styler like the next person. But the thing is with stylers, they are something that enhances. They create a desired look, an aesthetic. They're in some regards almost an illusion, like similar to like contouring, right? Like <laughs> I don't naturally have a shadow on my cheek. <laughs> Sometimes they're looking kind of good today. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like they're fun, but what they can lead to if we are not comfortable and familiar with what our hair looks like naturally is they can almost distort reality to the point where when those stylers are gone, it's almost shocking because the hair you're seeing isn't recognizable. Use product after product after product for a while, even with me who is pretty familiar with my natural texture of hair. It is something I chuck in fairly regularly. And even with that, there are times where I go no product and I'm like, what the heck? And not in a bad way, but in a way that is like, oh, my hair doesn't actually feel that heavy without stylers. 
oh, I might actually get naturally smaller clumps. Sometimes you can never really fully get an accurate grasp of the current state of your hair, what it potentially needs without seeing it without products. Why do you think so many hairstylists say when you come in, come in with no styler, especially your first time, they're asking you to come in with those beautifully naked curls so they can accurately see what they're working with. Stylers can camouflage. It's fun, it's beautiful, love a good eyeshadow, love a good contour, but we all know what happens if we don't wash our face. Since we've been talking about it, see this wash day? I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I did to it. First, I did do a bond builder. One, because I like it. Two, because I am on length goals this year. I feel like my hair has been the same damn length for the last couple of years, trying to balance out layers, and I'm just about there, and we are going for it. We are, we're going. And that means I need healthy, strong, <laughs> hair. I did a bond builder. I let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I got in the shower and I shampooed my hair. I lathered it well. I made sure every single aspect of my scalp came in contact with shampoo, especially the back and the nape of my neck, places that we often neglect when cleansing. Then after cleansing my hair, I applied conditioner. I started it at my mid lakes and ends and then I massaged it up to the roots and into my scalp because this one is made for your scalp. And the truth is a little bit of conditioning to the scalp is not going to hurt it. I then rinsed my conditioner out and then I went back in and applied some leave-in. Then I squished it in, squished it in, squished it in. I whipped my hair back under the shower stream to give it a little bit more water. Then I flipped my hair over, crunched it a couple times to get rid of those first bursts of water. Then I took my fingertips, lightly raked in at the roots just to lift the hair away from my scalp. Then I flipped it back over and I didn't touch it. Not with a towel, not with a hand, not with a t-shirt, not with a paper towel, nothing. Yep, I let it air dry and I flipped it from this side to that side and then forward so none of it's laying flat. And then the last five minutes or so when my hair was pretty much dry and my roots were slightly damp, I went in and blasted it with the diffuser to finish it up. And now here we have almost naked, almost completely natural, but hydrated and lubricated so they don't see any damage because we're going for length goals. <laughs> Hair. She isn't perfect. She isn't completely without frizz. Not all the curls are doing the same thing. Some of them aren't doing much of anything. But what she definitely is, is cute because this is who she is naturally. My hair doesn't look like this every single time I go no stylers. It doesn't. Curls, they look different all the time. And that is one of the reasons why it's so important to see our hair without stylers so that we can see it in all of the ways. My hair looks different in the winter versus in the summer. My hair looks different when there is humidity versus when there's not. There's no question that there are sometimes my favorite, but the truth is, is that I love and appreciate all of them. And that is the most important thing. And that is something that I see so many people bypassing is getting to that place where whatever their hair is naturally is what they love. And maybe that's not true for you. Maybe the curly hair journey for you is not about self-acceptance, it's just about looking hot AF, and that's awesome. But just make sure you feel hot AF with and without the makeup, with and without the stylers, because you are. All right, y'all, I love y'all, I want us all to love ourselves and each other <laughs> and our hair. If you are one of those making the biggest curly hair mistake, it's okay. We love y'all and we're here for you. And stop, because we got you. <laughs> all right, I really, for real, I'm going now. Okay, bye.